Hi friends, I am Professor Dr. Arvind Kumar, Chairman, Institute of Chest Surgery, Chest Oncosurgery and Lung Transplantation at Medanta, the Medicity Gurugram. At this point of time, many of you who have completed their general surgical residency will be in the process to choose the subsequent super specialty surgical career. Let me tell you that this is one of the most vital decisions of your life which may even determine your future happiness. Non-cardiac general thoracic surgery is a very exciting career option which offers a unique blend of a huge patient load, rarity of existing trained surgeons and a very vibrant surgical program in the form of open surgery, VAT surgery, robotic surgery and now the most exciting lung transplantation. So I am posting here a video which will take you through the details of this rare specialty and this video will assist you in making an informed wise decision as far as your career option is concerned. I take this opportunity to wish good luck to all of you. May God bless you all. Thank you. So my topic today is uh, the scope of thoracic surgery in the current scenario. Uh, I bring you greetings from the Institute of Chest Surgery at Medanta, the Medicity Gurugram, which is today the largest thoracic surgery center in the country with seven consultants and seven dedicated anesthesia consultants and support staff working under one roof, doing about close to 100 cases a month, major cases a month. Friends, when you choose a surgical specialty after your MS, today there are nearly 16 options available. And I put a query there because every year these options are increasing. So whether it is cardiac surgery, neurosurgery, plastic, onco, GI, hepatopancreatic, biliary, pediatric, urology, endocrine trauma, minimal excess, head and neck, and breast vascular thoracic, there are so many options available. How do you choose a surgical specialty? There can be two ways of choosing it. One is a rational method and other is an emotional method. What is an emotional method? Emotional method is somebody who is a die-hard fan of a specialty. He hears a story or some belief behind his choice. And because of that story or some experience in his childhood, adulthood, he is sold out to a specialty. He is absolutely dedicated. And no matter what you do, you cannot persuade him otherwise. This is what I call an emotional attachment. This person needs no advice because he's already chosen. The other one is a rational thinking. What he does is to answer nearly seven questions. And based on the answer to seven questions, he decides. The questions are, is this specialty exciting? Are there good training centers? Is there a high disease burden? How much of minimally invasive work is there? Is the training difficult? What are the job opportunities after you pass out? And what are the challenges and rewards in this field? Let's look at each of these, how thoracic surgery fares on these parameters. Is the specialty exciting? Well, everybody used to think that thoracic surgery is synonymous with TB. But friends, I would like to share that thoracic, which is non-cardiac chest surgery, has a gamut of diseases involving lung, mediastinum, pleura, tracheobronchial tree, esophagus, diaphragm, chest wall, and now there is a huge amount of trauma. And in each of these, you have benign diseases, malignant diseases, various kinds of diseases. And when it comes to surgery, how do we operate? You have a variety of methods available in open surgery, but that's not all. You have minimally invasive 
or video assisted thoracic surgery which nearly forms 75% of our current uh, case load and where you can do from diagnostics to most advanced procedures and from ga to conscious sedation to awake non intubated surgery there are a whole lot of options available and i would like to share this video of my colleague dr mohan who's my own student dnb thoracic surgery from our own department performing this bad lobectomy if you see this young gentleman doing this lobectomy on a patient of lung cancer and giving him relief from his cancer and at the end of the day when you ask him his level of satisfaction knows no bounds because he has offered state of the art treatment to this patient who otherwise has a life threatening disease you can see these small ports are made he is using a stapler he is using the state of the art gadgets which are available at our center and he is performing this video assisted thoracoscopic surgery but that's not all sometimes we have video assisted not uh, not uh, applicable and we do robotic surgery also wherein same way as we do in thoracoscopic surgery you first put put ports and after putting ports you drape this robot with this sterile drape and you bring the robot to the patient's end what is called docking so this is another colleague of mine dr bilal who is doing robotic thymectomy here and he's trying to get this robot in a proper alignment the next step will be to join these arms to the to the ports which is a process called a docking which uh, uh, involves the surgeon to scrub and be on the patient side and once he's done the docking part then after that so this is docking being done a special telescope that is being inserted after that special instruments are put inside the patient's uh, body through these ports now this is all done when you are scrubbed with sterile gown and sterile uh, glove after that you descrub you remove your sterile gown and glove and you move to the robotic uh, console sit on the console and operate these pair of joysticks your colleague will be managing the the patient end and you sit on the joystick and you carry out the entire operation with the camera the focus the pottery everything being available and under your control in your hands and your feet so this is state of the art robotic surgery so you have open surgery bat surgery and robotic surgery and you have a gamut of diseases from benign to malignant and now we are adding another dimension to it in the form of a vibrant lung transplant program so is the specialty exciting friends unambiguous answer is yes it is very very exciting next question are there good training centers or is there a high disease burden so there is a high disease burden india has the largest number of tuberculosis patients in the world when you look at the various health reports last two decades belong to the cardiovascular diseases but friends the next two decades will belong to the lung diseases you've seen in the covid time how lung were the focus and if you look at any data whether you look at the causes of death whether you look at the disease burden of chest diseases across the world there is only one answer that india is going to have a high burden of cancer as well as non cancer chest pathology in the next two decades because there is a lot of under reporting the real news from the ground is we have a massive number of patients and we cater not just to india but also to south asia and other asian countries except europe and us rest of the world thoracic surgery is under developed and india has the potential to become the mecca of thoracic surgery for all these countries so is there a high disease burden yes there is how much of minimally invasive work is there friends i have shown you the video of a batch surgery and robotic surgery today nearly 75% of our work 
is robotic or bad surgery and as the experience increases this is going to increase so there is a lot of robotic and vats work and it is increasing as the experience is increasing now last question second last is the training difficult well yes i agree the training is difficult but friends you have to remember there can be no gain without pain nothing is difficult if one wants it and without labor there will be no progress but the fact the reality is that is the training in thoracic surgery difficult yes it is difficult it's time consuming the patients are serious but it's a mesmerizing one it takes time because you have to be a pulmonologist and also a thoracic surgeon it takes time to understand and imbibe the concept but once you imbibe these concepts in your system one cannot stop exclaiming about how beautiful it is as you go deeper and deeper into this subject friends you tend to fall in love with it and it's an affair that lasts a lifetime it's a leap of faith which you take which you enjoy for the rest of your life what job opportunities are there well there are plenty of opportunities across the country and reality is that there are no trained takers if you look at the thoracic surgery centers across the country friends if you go for a real real thoracic surgery center which is doing all kind of work you will find that there are not very many center so if you were to get trained and go to a new city and start your career there you will start your career as a hod and you set up the department now if you wish to start this specialty in your area or in your city you will be an undisputed pioneer and will be much ahead of all your friends in this area is there a challenge well there are a lot of challenges because manpower is required it's not a one man show it's a team work you need allied personnel you need your assistants you need anesthetists you need nursing staff you need physiotherapists so all these people also need to be trained affordability is an issue training opportunities are 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 there but they are scarce so centers which provide structured training are not those many and it requires hospital so however why should i choose thoracic surgery i should choose because it's a rare specialty and what does rare stand for rare means there's rarity of the surgeons very few of this breed there is ample availability of the patients reproducibility of the surgical technique if you learn it right and exclusivity of the specialty so would you not like to be a rare kind of a surgeon so i will end with this take home message that thoracic surgery in india has a beautiful feature the best way to predict your future is to create it work hard be kind and amazing things will happen it's a neglected specialty but there is a huge gap in demand and supply there is a large patient load there are ever expanding indications and very few surgeons my last slide to all my younger colleagues is friends there is a tendency for everyone to chase success but my message to you is friends don't chase success please chase excellence because when you chase excellence you will have excellence and in addition success will be at your feet thank you very much friends and i wish you all the best